One of my best friends uh, was named Bobby. Bobby's dad was horrifically abusive to Bobby and his entire family. An experience from Peter Singer's past paved the way for a future purpose. Bobby's mom went to the lead pastor of the church begging for help and the lead pastor responded, when you adequately submit the abuse will stop. Unfortunately that didn't happen and Bobby's dad ended up killing Bobby's youngest brother and Bobby's mom had to kill Bobby's dad in order to protect the rest of the family. My mom said to me, this happened because the church and child protection don't work together. And when his job in social services brought him to a conference in 2005, he learned about an organization called HALOS, creating partnerships between social workers and faith-based communities, reminding him of his mother's comment. And I, talked with the pastor of my church in Oakdale, um, gave him the, the backstory and explained, I think we should work to set up partnerships between the child protection system and churches and our church could be the first one. And uh, when my pastor heard the backstory, he said, you're right, we have to do this. There were boundaries that needed to be discussed, mixing a government entity with churches, but within months, Care in Action Minnesota was formed and they helped their first family in November of 2005. We don't have a lot of the basic needs available to kids and families that are in the child protection system. And so uh, I think being able to rely on a community partner on a support that is more natural, not provided um, uh, by an outside organization, but but just provided by somebody in the community uh, was appealing to them. And I think it's been appealing to the families. Their first partner was Washington County and they've partnered with five more, including Ramsey, Hennepin and Dakota. Executive Director of Care in Action Minnesota, Catherine Sims Delgado, says the organization provides families in the child welfare system with critical breathing room preventing removal for economic reasons while helping families get on a path of healing and stability. A young mother who, she had been separated from her young infant, so the only thing really standing in the way at that point for the reunification to occur was having the proper furnishings in her apartment. So the church got together and they donated over a thousand dollars in furnishings to really make it a home that's safe and for for the infant to come back. Both Singer and Delgado say yeah. the impact reaches far beyond financial. They help families feel a sense of community they may not otherwise experience. I think it also like has a big impact on families as well when they receive support because they're not just receiving a check from some anonymous like governmental source. They know that their story has been shared, they they people see them, they care about them and like want to help them and want them to succeed. According to the Minnesota Department of Human Services, there are nearly 9,000 children in Minnesota foster care waiting for reunification with their families. Care in Action Minnesota has grown significantly since its inception. They helped over 100 children and families last year receiving more requests than they can fulfill. A truck would stop moving if you put too much weight on it. Uh, an abundance of challenging life circumstances can really overburden parents and contribute to breakdowns in care. And in order to set up our kids for success, we can all play a part in making sure that the heaviest loads aren't weighing families down. Although Care in Action Minnesota partners with churches like this one in West St. Paul, there are many businesses who donate goods and services like eyeglasses and dental care. It's a system that appears to work, mostly because, Singer says, people's intentions are good. People that are working in child protection, those workers, really want the best for the kids and the families with whom they're working. They, they've gone into this field trying to help kids, trying to help families, and they're looking for supports. They're looking for ways that can help them as they try and help kids and families.